Hello, my beautiful spirits. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. I'm so happy to have you here. This is Irish Donna Tarot, and we're looking at a Libra love energy update. We have that you and uh, the person you've come to ask about are in a place of land between two. The land between. So you're, I think that you're in the early phases of a relationship. It looks like from the overall spread that this is probably new love. It hasn't developed highly. For those for whom this will apply, again, take it as it resonates. You're both open to discover and get to know each other. And there are endless possibilities for this relationship. As we look at the current energy, both of you have come together Page of Cups is like when pigs fly, so I don't think that there is a heavy intention here of having a specific outcome. It's very, very early in a relationship, but both of you seem to have been keeping your options open. Both of you bit are in this energy of remembering somebody or something from the past. If this is a rebirth in love or a reconciliation, it could be remembering a happier time. But you're in this energy as a team with a lot of fire in your belly for making things better, uh, feeling very sad, feeling as though things have not worked out the way you'd like. The Seven of Cups really confused about where to move or what to do next. Both of you are very spiritual creatures. Both of you really are in this Aquarius energy seeking love of the highest form. We have the Six of Wands, Leo energy. Both of you feel really good when you're together. This is a fun kind of a relationship. This is a kind of relationship, and it really looks like both of you would like to introduce one another to your mutual friends or to your friends. The energy of the Ace of Cups in the near future shows that you want a rebirth in love. But I would say both of you have a lot to talk about. The Knight of Swords energy is Gemini energy. And the Seven of Swords says that you really haven't told each other a lot about yourselves. The Seven of Swords speaks to the fact that you might not have really opened up, that you're both sort of just being very stealthy, watching the other person. You both really hope that you can have a beautiful love relationship, the Empress energy, perhaps even a family together. Both of you want a very spiritual connection. And the energy as we see it right now, or in the near future and the outcome as the reading unfolds is a king of cups energy it's a, of really wanting to love somebody deeply of thinking that this could be your person there's possibilities and it says endless possibilities right here and really being open so let's jump in and see what the potentials are here for you in the early moments days or weeks of a connection or reconnection all right so let's see, the Five of Cups energy is the energy of Scorpio. We have that, oh, Magician energy, Gemini energy. You are manifesting your way out of unhappiness. Both of you are in the same frame of mind. I'm reading this as couples energy, the both of you feeling. This is that point in the middle where both of you are feeling this energy. I see that both of you are manifesting a relationship with each other. Heart of Cups, very emotional. Queen of Cups energy. That's Cancerian kind of love. So both of you have a very serious bent. Both of you want a divine love. And we have the Queen of Cups with the King of Cups energy that both of you are trying to manifest in this relationship. And your outcome is King of Cups. So everything is possible according to spirit. We have the Four of Cups. Both of you have gone through a period of time in your life when you felt like, wow, am I ever going to find my person? And both of you are willing to do the work. Eight of Coins. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. I'm going to hang in here. I like the Strength card as a basis of how you're coming into the reading. The reason you're here is that you have fire in your belly. You have the courage. You have the strength to find your uh, love. The Three of Swords says that in the past you may have been involved separately uh, or independently of one another or with each other in a third party situation. So it could be a rebirth. It could be that period between two lands or if it's a new relationship that both of you are entering. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Empress energy. 
both of you want the same thing, but you have just both been through a period of heartbreak. Heartbreak, disappointment, not being sure what to do, but you have, I love this. It shows so much power, so much strength, Libra. Why do we have the star card? Both of you are really good people inside and out. Both of you are spiritually oriented. You both want to master a relationship with each other or with someone that will allow you to fulfill your destiny. Ten of Wands, yep. See, I'm really seeing this, and I'm going to be very specific. I really think both of you have ended bad relationships. There's residual pain. There's You have a really deep understanding that you're coming to learn is what you really want, what you will put up with, what you won't put up with, and what you will do to meet your goal and have success and love. So let's see why we have this Page of Cups here. This Page of Cups says that, you know, when pigs fly, it's just, it's like teenage love. That's what I would say. It's the first early crush or phase of a relationship. And of course, what do I pull out? When pigs fly is right next to divine love. <laughs> well, doesn't it make sense when we're really, really just thinking about things that all of a sudden usually a gift will fall in our lap? The Six of Cups, Soulmate Energy. We've got that Scorpio Energy there. That's a Twin Flame card. The Naked Heart Tarot is the only tarot deck that I own that has a number 22. This is a Twin Flame. You can see the butterfly. So both of you, you know, you're, you're really searching and desiring a deep, meaningful relationship, and yet both of you haven't had that. I feel like this is the energy that made both of you sad and you know, broken hearted, and both of you are looking for something much more intense, divine. Both of you are coming up with this very deep, you know, energy. Scorpio energy is very intense. Somebody who really wants what they want and smart enough and with a lot of emotional intelligence to know what you need and want and to go for it. Six of Wands energy is Leo energy. It's all about introducing every, you know, your friends to your person. The Heart of Swords energy says that both of you are making a head over heart decision to refrain from doing that so that you can clear the way and see if the relationship will work, if it's something that you're going to really want before you take that leap of faith into introductions, okay? So we get the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups energy is new love or it's a new beginning in love. Oops, we have lots of cards falling into my lap. The energy is justice. Okay, so someone in this partnership, Libra, that is your energy. You have shown up in the reading. I think for maybe both of you or one of you, it looks as though you've been through a divorce. And the chariot card says that you want new love. You want to be able to say, I'm honey, I'm home. And it's all about making um, an offer to one another of value. So let's see. You both have a lot to say to each other. The Knight of Swords says that you probably have a lot of fast-moving communication. It's Gemini energy. Why do we have this fast-moving energy with communication? Well, you're rushing in to tell each other a lot about yourselves, a lot about what you want. You're sharing a lot of information about your goals, your dreams, your hopes, what happened to you. And we have the Seven of Swords, so I'm not fond of Seven of Swords. Closing, ah, oh, this is actually quite good. You're both the universe closing out a cycle in which you share with each other that your respective partners were not honest with you. There may have, you mo might have both found yourselves in a relationship in the past in which there was a cheating energy, or you both experienced a similar experience of having had a spouse or a significant other who cheated and lied, and both of you are like not having that. Nope, not signing up for that. But we do have two Empress cards here. Twin Flame, Ace of Cups, the hopes and dreams for love coming true cards. So I see the two of you as being very sweet, kind, loving, mature people who are very thoughtful and very intent on getting what you want. Why is the Empress here twice? Ah, movement of pentacles, slow moving. I love it. That is... Um, 
that is Virgo energy. Sorry for the pause. Uh, that is Virgo energy, you know, moving forward very slowly, but very steadily. Whenever we get Virgo energy, that is really being able to figure out life, solve problems, do the work. It is the probably the most reliable of all the characters in the, the Tarot, and it is... Um, the movement of pentacles or knight of pentacles is always very successful payday is always at the end of a knight of pentacles journey the two of you are sharing together that you know you both have had a very bad ending in your life that's your fear is that you'll have it again but you're able to put that fear behind you and move forward in this relationship for a rebirth in love we get the strength card again, talking about the victory that you're going to have, rising above. The uh, star card is about healing a wounded heart, giving up the burdens, letting go. So although, you know, you have great fears, of course we all do, if we've had someone betray us, if there has been a death that we've experienced, but you have the infinity symbol, you have fire in that belly to overcome all the obstacles. Both of you have done a lot of work to heal always good news both of you have um you're keeping your expectations dimmed down uh, and just letting it unfold the king of cups energy is very strong scorpio energy it's all about uh having weathered the storms of life beautifully being calm cool and collected but being very in touch with your emotions and why is it here seven of wands you know making sure you look out for yourselves as individuals but also as a couple from what i can see in this sun card confirming that analysis you know the sun card is the happiest card in the deck i feel as though you feel like children together that could also be why we see this page <laughs> with the six of cups and the twin flames card so i'm gonna leave that right where it's at i can't i can't imagine any new love um, being much sweeter than this both of you have come from a tough situation but you are very bravely and proudly moving forward you're you're comfortable with the stage that you're at but you do have endless possibilities in this connection libra sending you love from chicago send some back uh leave a comment below and tell me what you think tell me where you're from and i answer comments thank you libra hope to see you again in another reading thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.